All right, quick just test of a fuel injector. I've got some carb cleaner here, hooked to a hose, to the fuel injector, and I've got a battery here. It's gonna power the uh, fuel injector, and we'll uh, test it out, see how it works. All right, I'm gonna hook up the power wire. You can actually hear the, uh, hear the injector. You can hear it work, hear the relay. So I'm just gonna leave it on for a few seconds and hit the sprayer. Uh, on. Uh, there you go, atomizing it nicely. All right, I got everything back together. So all the fuel injectors were cleaned. So all the top ones, as well as all the bottom ones, which are brown injectors, you can't really see them here. Get the flashlight. Yeah, there you go. So there's four of those. So the fuel rail was all removed. I uh, also replaced the bolts on the top with hex bolts. This one, this one, and the ones down there and over here as well. Reason being is they're way easier to get off if you use, you can actually use a socket set uh, like this, 10 millimeter, and you can actually turn them. If you, they're normally with Phillips heads and they are a real pain in the ass um, to get off. So I replaced all four of those, so this is easy. I can now pull this off easily without having to pull this whole assembly off, which is how I had to do it before. Um, and since I had it all off, I get it all cleaned as well. So. All the, all the injectors were cleaned, um, O-rings were replaced, and uh, cleaned out with carb cleaner and all of them. Um, no problems with any injectors, they all work pretty well. And these have, the throttle bodies were all cleaned as well. So I, uh, I actually uh, went ahead and just double checked all the uh, spark plugs and the coils, and they're all good. And now I've got it all back together, and uh, I'm going to fire it up and see how it works. Better power now. 